Good morning everyone. Welcome to the morning devotion praying through the psalms my friends. Today we are praying Psalm 124. This is a song of a pilgrim who sang this on his way to the temple of God in Jerusalem. Hence this is titled as a song of ascents. Ascents means steps. A pilgrim or pilgrims who took their steps toward the temple of God in Jerusalem. Now, this psalm is attributed to King David as the author. Well, scholars believe that King David composed this psalm for all pilgrims who would visit the temple of God in Jerusalem, a temple which his own son Solomon would build in honor of God. Beautiful. Now, coming to the theme of the psalm as such is the this psalm celebrates God's help by his people. Wonderful. We begin the psalm now, verses 1 and 2. Had not the Lord been with us, let Israel say, Had not the Lord been with us when people rose against us? Here, yeah. the psalmist confessed to all the people of Israel that the Lord had been with them through their journey and took care of them protected them from their enemies. Great declaration indeed. Now, in next verses, verse 3, 4 and 5, the psalmist compared the enemies of the people of Israel to the sea monsters, sea dragons and the strong floods. This is a kind of comparison. Verse 3, 4 and 5. Then they would have swallowed us alive like sea dragons, they would have swallowed us alive. For their fury blazed against us. So they were so angry with us. Next, verse 4. Then the water would have engulfed us. The torrent overwhelmed us. Then seething water would have drowned us. Here, the psalmist compared the powerful enemies of the people of Israel with the sea monsters, with the sea dragons and the powerful floods. So, we would have easily been swallowed by these monsters, by these great powerful floods, he says. A kind of comparison. Now, he declared, he praised God in verse 6, Blessed is the Lord who did not leave us. So, he confessed to the people of Israel, his own friends, that the Lord took care of them. Blessed is the Lord who, who did not leave us. So, he took care of us. To be torn by their teeth, if, if not for God, would have been easily torn apart. My friends, a beautiful confession of God's help to the people of Israel by the psalmist. Verse 7. We escaped with our lives like a bird from the fowler's snare. The snare was broken and we escaped. Beautiful. Another comparison again. Here. The psalmist tells his own people that they are like a bird, freed from the fowler's snare, freed from the hunter's net. Once they were freed from Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and now they are freed from their enemies. Now they are like birds, free birds. Beautiful. Now he gives credit to God. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Verse 8 the maker of heaven and earth. So the psalmist doesn't forget who does all this. He confesses. He confessed to his people that our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. So he, he invites all people. He gathers all people to sing and praise God on their journey toward the temple of God in Jerusalem. My friends, isn't that a beautiful hymn, beautiful song? With all these thoughts, that God is our help, that God is a kind of one who can rescue us. With all these thoughts, we now pray Psalm 124. Had not the Lord been with us, let Israel say, had not the Lord been with us, when people rose against us, then they would have swallowed us alive.
where their fury blazed against us, then the waters would have engulfed us. The torrent overwhelmed us. Then seething water would have drowned us. Blessed is the Lord who did not leave us to be torn by their teeth. We escaped with our lives like a bird from the fowler's snare. The snare was broken and we escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, O powerful God, O God who created heaven and earth and all that is in the universe, we praise you, we thank you, we adore you, and we bow down before you. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of this wonderful life. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of this beautiful creation. Thank you, Lord, for the beautiful gift of our families friends and other people. In a very special way, we thank you, O Lord, for this beautiful word of God, for this beautiful Psalm 124. The psalmist placed his total trust in you, O Lord, and he declared to his friends and other people that every help, every help comes from you. Yes, O Lord, we believe that our help comes from you alone. May we not trust in ourselves, O Lord. May we not trust other people as the real help, O Lord. It is you, O Lord, who is the real help. Increase our faith in you, O Lord. Bless us all the time. Cleanse us from all our uncleanliness, O Lord, from our sinfulness, O Lord. May we have the fear of you. May we have the love for you, O Lord. Let these Psalms help us to really come closer to you. Let these arms increase our faith in you, O Lord. Help us to always follow you. Protect us, cleanse us, purify us, and make us your children. Bless all your people who watch this program, O Lord. We also pray for those people, for your children who went away from you. Bring them back, O Lord, once again, and let them have the taste of your love. Bless the sick people, O Lord. Take care of them and use us for that purpose. May we also go and say a word of consolation to them. Use us for your glory, O Lord. Once again, give us peace and joy. Bless, bless us and bless our homes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Psalm 124 celebrates God's love and saving help for his people. Yes, my friends, our God is our help and our salvation. Let us trust in him now and always. Thank you for watching our program, Praying Through the Psalms. Kindly stay tuned to JCKU Creations to watch our program both on Facebook page and YouTube channel. You may also spread your word about this program with your friends and other people. They could be part of this and benefit as well. Thank you again. See you next with the Psalm 125. Until then, stay blessed. Mm -hmm.